Hi guys, this is Shumon from ASC Technical. Here I will be showing you by transferring Windows boot partition from HDD to M.2 SSD. Earlier I showed two detailed installation tutorial on M.2 SSD for an old laptop. You can check out here to see our previous tutorials. However, now just follow me to transferring Windows 10 to M.2 SSD without restoring. Ok, at first let me initialize this M.2 SSD. After that, allocate this drive. In order to transferring a copy of your Windows boot partition from HDD to M.2 SSD, you will need to download a data migration program according to your SSD manufacturer. Here, I will be using Acronis True Image WD Edition software for execute this cloning process. Or you can use Ezer's Partition Master for more advanced options. Here, a tutorial on OS migration using Ezer's Partition Master. Alright, after installing, I just open this program. After that, click on clone disk under tools menu. And you can read more about this clone disk option before you go through this process. Now select this recommended option under clone mode. Or if you want, you can customize by going to the manual option. Then click on next and one more thing before starting this cloning process make sure your SSD is completely empty. Now select the source disk from where you want to copy of your OS then next. After that select the destination disk where you want to transfer a copy of your OS then next. Now read this warning message carefully. If you agree, then click on OK. Alright, as you can see, here's a advanced preview of your destination disk layout, which will be created after cloning process. If you want to modify something, then go to option and select the particular drive which you want to copy. Once done this final step, then click on proceed to execute this operation. Now your PC will be reboot. Please do nothing until the Acronis boot mode operation is completed. Now leave your computer until the copying process is completed.
After cloning process, shut down your computer. Now remove your old HDD from the laptop's primary hard drive bay and insert your SSD that you have cloned. You can check out our previous tutorial, there's a detailed installation guide. After that, go to BIOS to make your M.2 SSD as a primary boot drive. Now save configuration changes and exit. Alright, the boot was successful from the M.2 SSD. And as you can see, it was really first boot. Now let me show you the drive status. Alright, this is the WD M.2 SSD which is the primary and kind boot device and this is old HDD. You can manage and monitor this WD M.2 SSD by using WD SSD dashboard. Now let's see performance benchmark of this M.2 SSD. Okay, the result is here. As you can see, if you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.